Factsverse presents Homeless Vet with No Friends or Family Gets the Send-Off He Deserves In today's society, it's not uncommon for people to fall through the cracks. When most people see a homeless person, they tend to look away, assuming that they're just looking for money to buy booze or alcohol. The people who do try to help will often give some spare change, trying to ease their conscience. Life on the streets can be dangerous and lonely. After giving a homeless person their money, most people don't give a second thought to that person ever again. That's a sad truth. There are, however, some people who do try to do more. A homeless vet with no friends or family passes, but wait till you see who shows up to say goodbye to him. This story truly shows how truly kind and selfless some people can be. But before we get into the video, how about you show some kindness and selflessness by clicking that like button, and be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Sergeant John Berard from St. Louis, Missouri served in the Air Force from 1968 until 1971. During this time, he served in the Vietnam War. During his service, he earned four Medals of Honor. During his time in Vietnam, he served his country proudly. When Sergeant Berard returned home from the United States, he had trouble readjusting to civilian life. This is something that happens more often than you think. It wasn't long before he was living on the streets. Many soldiers come home with PTSD, and without the tools to cope with the issue, it can make for a very difficult life. John was one of those people. Back then, doctors didn't know what they know now about PTSD. Because of this, John didn't get the treatment that he needed to live a productive life. As a result, he was living on the streets for years. His luck didn't get any better while living on the streets, either. When he found that he was suffering from stage 4 lung cancer and brain cancer, he realized his life was over. What's worse, he felt like he didn't do anything with his life because of the hand that life dealt him. He was 67 years old when he passed away. Sadly, he didn't have any friends or family members by his side. Life on the streets can be very lonely, and John didn't have any people in his corner. That's not something that a decorated military soldier should have to go through, but sadly it was his reality. When the president of the AMVETS club got into contact with John, he wanted to do what he could help. He worked tirelessly to get John the disability that he was entitled to after serving in the war. Sadly, though, the money came in at the same time that his cancer diagnosis did. Shortly before his death, John met a man named Calvin Whitaker. He was the owner of Michael Funeral Home. Calvin had always believed that anyone who has served their country deserves to have a funeral complete with military honors. Since John had no friends and no family members, there was nobody to press for the decorated veteran to get the recognition he deserved. Well, after John's death, Calvin decided it was up to him to do something for this man who put his life on the line so bravely for his country. Calvin decided to hold a funeral for John free of charge. The ceremony he planned would be complete with military honors. When the local news station heard about Calvin's generosity, they reported the story, and it wasn't long before people heard about John and what he did for his country. Many people were brokenhearted that this poor man spent most of his life on the streets. On the day of the funeral, dozens of people from the community lined the streets and they saluted with the military parade passing by. The Patriot Guard gave the hearse an escort to Jefferson Barracks where the military hero would be laid to rest. John lived his life on the streets, without the support of friends or family members. Thanks to Calvin, he received the recognition that he deserved. John's funeral service was recorded and posted on YouTube. His friend made a lovely speech and John's flag was presented to Betty Beard, the grieving widow. The video was viewed thousands of times. It was also shared over 34,000 times on Facebook. This story is a bittersweet one. It's sad that it took decades for John to get the recognition he deserved. However, what these people did for him at the end of his life is truly amazing. Thank you for your service, John. Subscribe for more.